Welcome back to the channel guys and today I have a special beginner's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do facial shape keys in Blender and I'm even going to be providing in the description below this free model of mine that you can download on Gumroad for free. And the idea here is to show you guys how to make a basic smile and basic blink and also how you can go ahead and use the automatic topology features here to mirror those on to the other side as well to save a bit of time. So if this is something you want to learn, definitely keep watching. And if it's earned a subscription, I would really appreciate that or even a like and a share. Um, everything you can find out about me is in the description below. So let's jump in and teach you guys a little something about how to do shape keys on a face in Blender. If you want a free model to follow along with, you can look at my link in the description and you can use one of my own models that I'm gonna put on my Gumroad. You can put in zero dollars once you've clicked on the link and then you can just download it. Once you have that blend file extracted from the zip folder, you're just gonna go ahead and open it in Blender 4.0. Once you have the head opened up in a Blender, we can now start following along with this tutorial. So you can notice that if you grab this head here and you tab into edit mode, you're gonna see that the topology here is symmetrical on both sides running along the X axis, right? So it's essentially a mirrored image here. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna go over to our object data properties and we wanna do this actually in object mode to get started with. And you're gonna go over to your shape keys option here. It's just under the vertex groups. That's where it kind of lives. I've covered this before in a few videos, shape keys, but with any sort of shape key, you're gonna click plus to create what is called your basis. So this is gonna be essentially the unaltered version of your mesh, right? So if I now go and add anything more to this by clicking plus, those are what we call our shape keys. And whenever we are just at our basis, our just blank starting position, any of these shape keys that we take and we alter them, don't follow with this, I'm just showing you guys quickly. Anything we change, with the topology on those shape keys, Blender will look at our basis, and then when we grab that and we give it a value, it interpolates between our basis and our key position, and that is what we call a shape key. And we can make as many of these as we want, and we can do all sorts of kind of weird things. That's really creepy, I apologize, but you guys kind of get the idea, right? So I'm just gonna get rid of these two keys that I just created, and we still have the basis here, but I'm gonna go ahead plus and just create a key. So now you guys kind of see where we're going with this. The cool thing about having a symmetrical object is when we go ahead now and we create some shape keys like a mouth smiling or an eye blinking, we can now go ahead and mirror it onto the other side, which I'm also gonna teach you, thus while making this sort of facial shape keys tutorial. So let's tab into edit mode with our key one. In fact, I'm, I'm being bad here. I really should teach you guys the right way. With anything like this, you really wanna go ahead, double click in object mode and just name it. So let's go ahead and call it smile and underscore L, just so we know it's gonna be our left side. Now you're probably thinking, no, this is the right side. I'm looking at the right side of the screen, but remember, we always work from the perspective of our subject. So this is gonna be the left side, even though it might be your right side. So we're in edit mode with the smile underscore L. You're gonna make sure you come up here and enable proportional editing, but also with proportional editing, you wanna make sure it is connected only. And I prefer to go to the vertex select option and then select the vertex. And let's grab the corner of the mouth here and let's go G to move. And you wanna roll your middle mouse button. You don't want it to be too big where it goes over the middle of the face. So let's just make it small, rolling it down to make it small. And let's just kind of bring it up like this, make a smile and then R just to rotate it a little bit. And then G, let's just bring it up like that. Then you're gonna go into your right orthographic view and then grab the cheek over here and then go G and just kind of bring it back and in just to kind of deform those muscles, which is a little bit more accurate to what would happen in a real facial deformation. Then we're gonna tab back out and now let's test our smile. So we're gonna come here to the value and drag it and now we have a nice smile. You can come in here and edit that until you find it satisfactory. But for me, I really think that looks kind of okay. Okay, so let's now take this value, take it all the way up to one. And now I'm gonna show you how to mirror in our shape keys here. So you're gonna come here with that of a value of one and you're gonna to come to the drop down here and you're gonna go new shape from mix. It's important that you do that. And while you have that second keyframe that is now created, 
still selected. You're gonna to come to the drop down again, and this time you're gonna go mirror shape key topology, and then click on that. So now if you grab this key too, and we drag this value, it should be a perfect mirror of smile underscore L. And let's double click on it actually and call it smile underscore R, okay? Because it's our right side. So now we've created a very uncanny looking smile, but once again, you don't actually have to take it this far. Um, you always kind of take your shape keys to their absolute most exaggerated max, but it doesn't mean you always deploy them that way. So I would kind of put these both at something like 0.5 to be quite honest with you. Um, but in extreme cases, you might pull it all the way up to a value of one. But now you kind of see how we can do that. So it's really powerful. Now, um, instead of coming here and turning these all down to zero manually, you can just come to this X and click on it. And it just resets everything back to a value of zero. So now let me show you how to do an eye blink. So let's click on a plus here. Let's just call it eye blink underscore L. And let's tab into edit mode. And we have a proportional editing Remember, connected only. And then let's grab a vertex or two at the top here and then go G. And we have a proportional editing. Let's drag it down to about the middle of the eye. Then let's grab two verts down here and go G and move them up to kind of meet in the middle. Then we need to go to our right view and go G and move these forward. And then in our right view, you can kind of grab these guys here and just tuck them closer together like that. And you can make any corrections you need to in the front view like so, there we go, that's looking pretty good. And I might just drop this down just a little bit. You can fiddle with this all you like. Um, I'm just kind of giving you guys a rough idea here. Tab back out, and now we can take this I blink underscore L, and let's drag it, and now we can see we have a nice blink. So let's take that value all the way up to one, come to the drop down, and once again, whoop, come to the drop down, then go new shape from mix, and then with this new key that's created, let's come to the drop down again and go mirror shape key topology. And now we can grab that key. Let's just call it I blink underscore R. And now let's grab that value and drag it. And now we have an I blinking. Now it's not actually blinking, but you know, we'd use this to create a blink. You know, you, the character could be sleeping if you wanted to. I'm just, you, know, you could even just call it eyes closed if you want. But um, you know, that's what we're doing. So let's click on X here just to, unset all of that and from here really the sky's the limit if you were doing like a character that you had rigged um, you could even open a jaw you could do all sorts of things and in this case it doesn't have an inside here of the mouth it's just a closed model but it you know it's just a nice little demonstration so um, go ahead mess around with things um, see what you can do i really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you appreciate the effort i put into it definitely consider subscribing that helps me out a lot and I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.